What he says about the women to avoid is, is a lot similar to what you hear from the manosphere. So this is telling me that this is not us, this is not an issue, this is not intraracial, this is black women. This is, this is uh, some of us, how we were raised or not raised and how it's showing up in our relationships, how we deal with men, how do we get over that father wound so it doesn't destroy all the healthy relationships we have in our life with men. How do we navigate that? How do we heal that? How do we, you know, how do we receive criticism from men without it feeling like it's crushing us? You hear what I'm saying? That we can receive, we can receive criticism or we can have an argument with a, a, a man and not go ballistic, not see it as an attack on our personhood or an attack on our intelligence. And hey, my emo brothers back again in this is a continuation of the short that I did by Samantha Cook. I think her name is Cooker. She's an African author, but she's also on YouTube. And that short came from her. And this is the book that she was actually talking about. When by a white guy, and he's probably pandering, trying to make a quick book off of black women. Don't blame him. About how to date and marry the right black woman. A uh, white man's perspective which black women <laughs> to pursue and which ones to avoid which one to marry oh boy here we go but uh, a lot of stuff she was saying is that according to him this coming from a white guy and she agreed you know because i guess she's a swirler or a divest or whatever you want to call it because she writes novels about white men and black women in romance that's, i think that's her main calling but anyway this is the book that she was actually quoting from and saying that the black manosphere was spot on about which black women to marry and which ones to date and what the issues were so we're going to cover his section because the book's like 35 pages long it's really a rip off could have been a blog but uh, we're going to cover which ones to avoid right? which black women that he says that white men should avoid and why so i, I made some screenshots from the book and we just kind of just read through them for you know for shits and giggles the first one what does he say a black woman who can't admit she's wrong is the wrong black woman for you he says i've dated women who were so afraid of admitting to a simple mistake where have we seen that before they were willing to risk the entire relationship in order to not own up to being wrong a woman with this kind of mindset can't take any responsibility and will ultimately blame you for every problem that comes up in the relationship. The need to be right, mm -hmm. a sign language, the need to be right. They don't just put it on us. Thinking you're to blame for everything. This type of woman will look to end the relationship or seek out a new knight in shining armor to save her. Now realizing her lack of responsibility is a big part of the problem in the relationship. Pursuing a relationship with this type of woman is pointless. It's destined to fail. Admitting one's faults or weaknesses takes courage and maturity. A woman who can't do this is showing you she isn't ready for a real relationship. Don't waste your time on this type of woman. This is a big thing. Well, you already know, man. You're all black. With your mothers, your sisters, your aunties, your grandmother. The biggest thing for a black woman to admit is that she's wrong it's like it's like a shameful thing for them to admit that they're wrong shame guilt and need to be right all that stuff is covered up with the need to be right that's like when they can't admit that they're wrong because it's uh i wouldn't say it's beneath them but it's a it's a humongous issue and so remember i was telling you guys that you can only cover up who you really are for so long and that's what this white guy is saying he said 
he, he dated a few of black women that had it together that he really liked had a good relationship they were really fun he said but most of them were like this he said he he's dated a few of the right ones but he says i've dated a lot of wrong ones and this is just proof positive by a white guy backed up by samantha cooker who is a swirler okay she doesn't date black men but she's admitting that if black women want to get together and date white men they're gonna to have to correct this because it's showing up in white relationships and these are the men that they put on a pedestal these are the men they put on a pedestal so continuing no matter how good that man treats her even if a man were to give this type of woman everything she wanted at any time and every time time she wanted it she still wouldn't be happy she would secretly resent him for being weak <laughs> You can not make this shit up. You can't make it up. Even a white man can be called a lame and a simple. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Again, she is flawed. She will resent you for being strong. You can't make this stuff up, man. Come on. And will resent you even more for giving in to her. It's a no-win situation. Bars, white boy. Bars bars these women aren't ready for relationships don't waste your time and energy on them unless she's willing to seriously work on herself the relationship will never work <laughs> bars white boy bars wow i wish i had a, a taps music man play taps on that man wow bars cannot make this stuff up a black woman who won't compromise or won't at least meet you halfway in disagreements my goodness uh, stop reading my life white boy stop reading my life isn't a woman you want to enter into a relationship with this type of woman is flawed in several of the, my past relationships i dated black women who presented themselves as perfect angels until we disagreed <laughs> they then turned into a fire breathing she devils okay these women have a false belief that if men don't fall at their feet <laughs> when they're trying to get their way, they're wrong. They're the wrong men for them. Or, or those men are controlling men, I'm trying to make them slaves, right? These women have let the media convince them that they're supposed to run things in the relationship. And this type of woman has a difficult time submitting to a man in any way. I would love to tell you that it is the media that makes them this way, but they've been this way for 200 years. You're just now getting to the point where they were bold enough to show it to you. All the women in my family are like this, okay? Gotta remember, like I said, white guys and, and, and white women are starting to pick up some of the habits from black women, right? That black men are there to serve them. Black men have been socialized and raised and cultivated with their winter soldier chip in their heads to serve. And this guy's an outside observer because the way his, he's raised, his women serve, okay? They serve their men. The Asian women, the white women, the Latino women serve their men. They do. They're not expected to fall at their feet and do what they're told. Black men are. So they'll be sweet until you challenge them because you're challenging their authority over you. Now, he's upset because he's not used to it. Black men are. But he's saying exactly what we've been talking about. The only difference is it's normal to us. It's not normal to him. Why do you think these white boys are going on strike? Because their women are starting to pick up bad habits or we think is bad habits from black women. They're too controlling. They're too demanding. They want this. They're, they're, they want to be right. The white women are becoming black women. And the white guys are not used to their women treating them like that. That's how come they're on They say, you know what? I'd rather play video games. I'd rather play video games than deal with you. Because these are not the women that I'm used to. My mother didn't talk to me like this. How dare you talk to me like this? White guys are not used to this. This is normal for black men. These are our mothers. These are our mothers. That's why we're used to it. They're not. 
but he's actually highlighting the, our problems with stuff that we've been saying he's highlighting it that then i think that's the last slide but i just wanted to talk about this man I, because i wish he had expounded upon it but things like I said the book's only like 35 pages man i said all right you know i, I paid like three bucks and i really wanted to see what he had to say because of what she put up as a short and shout out to my sub for sending me the the short i think it was afro i think it was afro might have been afro nerd i'm not sure exactly who it was but actually uh, sent me this because she's a swirler she's a she's a swirling romance book author and she admitted it you know you heard her admit it and this is the book that she read even though it's a short book it goes to the heart of the problems that we identify in the black manosphere that women swear that they don't do right and we they swear that it's just us and what did he say I dated black women who presented themselves as perfect angels until we disagreed. And then that's where the power struggle is. I can't tell you how many relationships I had that, w that went through this. I can't tell you. I, even the best of my women, I mean the best of my women, got in my ear with that bullshit trying to mommy me. I can't tell you the screaming matches that I've had with them. I was just bullshit. You trying to reason with them and you try to calm them down and they're screaming at you, man. He's like, blah, blah, blah. And try to mommy you and scream you down like you're not going to say nothing. Like, you know, I raised my voice. Who the hell you think you're talking to? Who the hell you think you're talking to? Knock down, drag out fights because they couldn't get their way. And white men are just now starting to feel white women start turning into black women. As the white guy inocracy is starting to flex its power on its own men. So I thought this was a treat, man. That's how come I pulled this out. I said, this will be fun. So this will go with the short that I put up that everybody's giggling over. But it's not going to be long. That's all I got for this one. This is BGS out. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.